Are you preparing to study abroad and you haven't decided if you want to live in the dorms or to rent a flat outside of the university? Well, this video is for you. My name is Mayra Yepes, I'm currently living in Hungary, studying biomedical engineering and today I'm gonna give you some pros and cons about living in the dorms or renting a flat. To study abroad, of course, is an exciting experience and one of the requirements is to have a level of English at least of B2. That's why I hardly recommend Cultural Language English Academy. This is an excellent academy which helps students from all over the world to get their international certificates such as TOEFL, IELTS, and others. So if you're looking for a place to study online and increase your level of English, I will leave you a link in the first comment where you can find more information about it. Let's start with the dorms. A pro of living in the dorms is that you have a social environment. You can go easily to the university events and you can meet friends from all over the world. Also, you can save tons of money if you are gonna study with Stipendium Hungarian School. Scholarship. They will pay you 43,700 forints, which is about $110 for your expenses. Also, the environment is super safe and you will have a security guard in the front desk. Also, you can order food online and you can get your packages directly to the dorms in the university. Some cons about the dormitories is that you're gonna share your room with other three people, so four in total, and obviously get some privacy is gonna be difficult. Also, the dorms are not always available, so you should receive an email from the university telling you if they have dorms. Some universities, especially in Budapest, with a lot of students. They don't always have dorms available for students, so they could send an email explaining that situation to the students. In some universities, they offer the dorms just to the best academic GPA and the rest of the students, they have to find a flat outside of the university. Something important that I want to mention is if, for example, you have decided to be in the dorms but after two months you changed your mind and you want to rent a flat outside of the university, you will still receive the same amount of money, the about $110, as if you were in the dorms until the end of the semester. So if you decide to live in the dormitories, have in mind that you have to be there at least the whole semester, because they are not gonna pay you the full amount of the scholarship. Have in mind that if you choose to live in the dormitories, you have to be there at least for one semester. When the semester finishes, you can start receiving the 83 and 700 forints, about $220, as the full amount of the scholarship. So keep in mind that, so if you decide to live in the dormitories, um, it's preferable if you spend there the whole semester. Let's talk about flats. Consider that the information that I will share with you right now is about my experience living in Page. So in Budapest or another cities in Hungary, life could be a little different. In the description of the video, I'm leaving you a link from the University of Page where you can find more information about the dormitories and the flats. A lot of this is up to the university that you are applying for. So try to search for your university and find the details about this. I'm gonna drop a few more links so that you can find options about flats. All of these websites present pictures where you can find some shared rooms or apartments or flats where you can find the options that you need, where you can find a real realtor that you can rent a flat. Something that is not that recommendable, but it works for a lot of people, including me, to search in Facebook Marketplace, where you can find information and options, and also in ingatland.com, and also a good location, according to where you are going to live. Something important to mention also is that the faculties of University of Page are scattered throughout the whole city. And for example, I was going to study in the engineering faculty, so I started looking for apartments or a little flat around this location. And for example, the faculty of psychology or medical school, they are far away from where I live, so I try to find out around 
the engineering faculty. But remember that it could be more expensive as the apartment of flat is closer to the faculties. But be aware of searching for the location, the closest one, or the public transportation system. If you decide to rent a flat outside of the university, you will get more privacy, your own space, your personal space, and if you are a quiet person and you don't want to be in the noise, in the craziness in the, from the dorms, that's a good option too. If you rent a flat outside, you will receive a monthly stipendium of 83,700 forint, about $220. Let's talk about the cons. According to my experience in the city of Page and the increasing inflation of Hungary, right now a little apartment with a kitchen, a bedroom and a bathroom, the rent costs about 100,000 to 150,000 forint, which is about 280 American dollars. Besides that, you have to pay utilities, which include water, electricity, gas, and internet. In summertime, these utilities are about 15,000 forints, and in winter, could be about 30,000 forints. Another option that is less expensive is to rent a flat in a shared apartment. So you are gonna have your own bedroom, but probably you will share the kitchen and the bathroom with two or three more people. These shared rooms cost about 70,000 forints, so around $230. In both cases, if you are renting a flat for you or a shared room with more people, you have to pay the first month of rent and two months deposit in order to get your contract and with your contract signing by the landlord you have to go to immigration office and you are gonna get your address card as i mentioned before these prices are in the city of page but in the web pages that i left in the description you can choose the city that you want to go and you can see how much does it cost the rent there for example, in a big city like Budapest, a shared room outside of the university, there are some buildings that are similar to dormitories, so you're gonna have probably to share a room, or probably your room, but you're gonna share a kitchen and a, and a bathroom. The rent costs around $300. I'm not saying that you could find rents cheaper than that. Something important that I want to add is that be aware of scams. If you are about to study abroad and you're still in your own country, you probably are looking for a flat to rent and you're looking online. And bad people are everywhere, so they sometimes upload some pictures to Facebook or to a website and they are not the landlord or the owner of the apartment and they will ask you for the deposit and after that they will disappear. So probably ask them a proof or a document saying that this person is the owner of the apartment. Something that I recommend is if you are going to travel uh, to Hungary, you can choose some options online and you can make an appointment. And when you come to Hungary, probably you will need to rent an Airbnb for a few days. And in those days, you can go and check the apartment in person to make sure that it's a real person. Even with the keys of the apartment, that could be a scam. So you have to make sure that this person is the owner of the apartment and that the contract is a legal document. Then once you make the contract, you can use this document to go to immigration office and to get your address card. This is a white card with your address that we use for many paperwork here in Hungary. So as a conclusion with all the experiences and things that I mentioned in this video, my advice is, is that if you are coming to Hungary, the most cost-effective option for, for students is to live in the dorms of the university, if possible, because you can save money, also you can see the situation here in Hungary, at least if you spend the first semester in the dorms, you can get to know your friends, your classmates, and then even you can rent a flat together and be with them. That is my suggestion, to be in the dorms, unless you're coming to study in Hungary with a family member. In that case, you cannot be admitted in the dorms and you have to rent a flat outside of the university. Also, if the flats in the university are not available or you got an email saying that it's full, 
school you have to look for something else. This is just my perspective and my experience. Remember, I'm living in Page and could be different according to the city you are gonna live in. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will upload more videos with content about studying abroad. And please leave me a comment saying where are you going to study? Thank you.